It is the clearest message yet from Mexico's president that he will not confront drug cartels in his country to help the United States. President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador saying Friday that he will not fight Mexican drug cartels on U.S. orders, arguing the flow of drugs into the U.S. from Mexico is an American problem, not a Mexican one. Obrador saying, quote, we are not going to act as policemen for any foreign government. His comments coming as the CDC reveals that the number of drug overdoses deaths in the U.S. broke a record in 2022. Nearly 108,000 Americans dying of overdoses in 2022. That's about 1% higher than the previous record set in 2021. And while the majority of those who die from drug overdoses in the U.S. are adults, overdoses are also impacting America's teenagers at alarming rates. We're talking about dead children from fentanyl poisoning because of wide open borders. Now, with one American still dying of a drug overdose every five minutes, our work is far from finished. Secretary of State Antony Blinken calling for global cooperation to fight America's growing fentanyl epidemic. And while fentanyl is now the leading cause of death for Americans age 18 to 45, overdoses are also killing young Americans in unprecedented numbers. The New England Journal of Medicine reporting that every week, an average of 22 adolescents, the equivalent of an entire classroom, died of drug overdoses in the U.S. And flatly declares an overdose crisis among U.S. adolescents. We haven't seen a real increase in substance use among youth. We have seen a dramatic increase in overdose deaths. Driving this deadly trend, the widespread availability of counterfeit pills that contain fentanyl. As U.S. Customs and Border Protection reports a ballooning of fentanyl seizures at the southwest border in the last few years, nearly twice the number in fiscal year 2023 than the year prior. It really is true that you could use a drug once, and if it's mixed with fentanyl that you don't know about, you really could experience an overdose. This unintentional use of fentanyl makes an overdose more likely. Experts say tragedy can be prevented by families buying Narcan, which can reverse an opioid overdose and can easily be picked up at a local pharmacy. Went to the counter, asked them if they had Narcan. I was able to just pay my my healthcare prescription copay and walked out with two doses. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.